Welcome to this tutorial where we will create an email in Photoshop. Let's say that client has provided us with an image of a product and we received a copy from the copywriter and now it's our turn to create an email. So let's start slowly. We will group the hero text and body copy separately to make it easier to move or align them on the canvas and name them to know what is in the group. This is very important when making more complex emails, so we don't waste time looking for specific layers. The width of the email is 600 pixels and it is recommended best practice in order for emails to display properly on all devices and email clients. Now we will play a little bit with the text in the hero image and change the font to Gaudi Old Style and increase the size to approximately 75 pixels. And we will change the gift guide's text to Kronos font and make it a little smaller, somewhere around 40 pixels. Now let's see the image that will be in the background and arrange the position of the text and the image. Under the image, of course, we will put the call to action button or CTA and we will change the color so it is within the brand that we work for. Align the text and shape to the middle and adjust the size a little more to fit better in the whole design. Now we are going to put a product image and I thought we'd cut out these boxes and just put them on the background that we've chosen. We will do this as befits professionals with a pen tool in order to get clear and sharp edges of the product. You simply trace the whole box or just two upper ones. To make it easier to see, reduce the opacity of the shape layer to 
When we are done, press Ctrl on the keyboard and drag the shape layer onto the layer of our product. And you've got a vector mask that you can adjust if necessary. Let's see now how it looks and where we will place the boxes in relation to the background. Considering that our background image is shorter than it should be, we have to extend it behind the text. This is pretty easy to do, but first we need to duplicate the background image and rasterize it. Now let's mark the part we want to extend and slightly capture the part of the pattern we want Photoshop to use. Let's go to Menu, Edit, Content Aware Fill and here we have three options – Auto, Rectangular and Custom. You can try all the options, but the best one is custom because we ourselves could determine which part to repeat. Mark with the brush the pattern below until you are satisfied with the results. If you hold Alt, you can delete the part you marked. And here Photoshop made us a perfect background for the text. What I like to do is move the original background above and I slightly mask the transition between the two images. Now we are going to copy the background of the email and shorten it a bit, so we can simply clip those images into that shape. We are going to make this text a little bolder and put this texture as a clipping mask to make it look a little more like a holiday atmosphere. Now I will make mask for the background of the product and lightly brush over the transition so that it somehow fits better into the hole. Simply text CTA and the product will become one hole and not the separate sections as it looked before. I am going to make a reflection of this box and I am going to do that by copying it and flipping it vertically. The reflection is always a little smaller than the product, so I will squeeze it a bit. To make it believable, we will use perspective warp. Create a rectangle and adjust the corners to match our box. Click next to it and drag again for the side.
Once you've set the grid to match our box, click on Warp and simply move the points until the reflections lines up perfectly with the box. Each reflection is not crystal clear, but a bit blurry, so we will apply a Gaussian blur and mask it a bit. Now let's group the layers and adjust the clipping mask a bit. Move the button in the layers above the hero image and adjust it a little more. It looks perfect. When we transfer this email to Clavio, there will be another CTA below the text. And this is the process of creating a simple email without GIFs or additional banners. Don't miss out on more advanced email design techniques. Subscribe to stay updated.